This is a prime example of how not a lot of things worked out for me. You can do one of two things. It's either you step up and get it done or you quit. That's how I was raised and that's just how it goes. What's up guys? Happy July 5th, the first day after the 4th of July. Hope everyone's recovered all right. We're gonna do a little bit of a vlog. I wanna talk about like my daily schedule whenever it's like back to work after a long holiday. Now I had trouble getting up. My son, Seth, he woke up a few times. He's seven months old. He's still having a little bit of issues like you know, just needing a little bit of help in the middle of the night, but that's okay. So I was able to help him. Warmed up to do a workout and I just couldn't get it going. Sometimes that happens. Usually I like to get it done in the morning, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. So I said, let's change gears, not waste any time and get right into business. First thing I did was I went to my iMac over here. If you guys know the story with this iMac, I'm upgrading to a MacBook Pro, but this iMac is what does my YouTube editing. It does my Amazon influencer stuff. So that was the first thing I did. I realized I have a pair of sunglasses that I wear in a lot of videos. It's actually these Gooders right here. And Gooders is sold on Amazon. So with the Amazon Influencer Program, you make a quick video about the product, you post it to Amazon, and then you get commissions when it sells. These have more of like the green lens, but whenever you look closely, they actually change to more of like a blue and purple look. So I knocked that out. It took probably like 10 minutes. I filmed the video in the backyard because of the green trees and everything looked real nice. Posted the video, got that done. Now what I'm looking at is I have 33 items to ship out for $760. Now it's been a bit of a slow run the last couple of days on eBay. I think I had uh, $406 yesterday, which it's, that seems like a lot, $405. The day before, $375, but like the previous two days were $620. So like I'm used to hitting $500 to $6, $7 uh, on the low end, like, you know, $400, but I've had a lot of $300 uh, and some change days, which is uh, part of the summer, part of the holiday. A lot of people just don't shop. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I'm gonna go pull those items from the garage and then uh, get them shipped out. So one thing I got going on today is I don't have any items ready to list. That means I don't have any drafts saved. I do have some items over here. Those are from my most recent haul. And then I have a lot at the storefront. And then I still have 100 items on the rack at the store, which my buy, sell, trade store, if you guys didn't know, it's downtown in my town. And it's more of like an office slash little mini store, mainly so that people can recognize that I'm there to buy their men's clothes. And it kind of acts as an outlet so they don't have to donate everything. We do not have any buy, sell, trade stores. So it's worked out well. I've had a total of four deals in the last month. And that was the first month that I opened. So if I can get, you know, like a big deal every, you know, one to two weeks, I think that's going to be good to cover the rent and get some more items. So after I pack up items, I'm probably going to go grab lunch. I do have a photo station set up at my buy, sell, trade store. And that's something that I need to take care of right now. So let's just head to the garage and pull some items. So I am running some laundry. My wife and I did not get enough laundry done over the weekend, which is fine. It happens. Having a kid, it seems like we always have laundry and dishes to do. One thing I forgot to bring in there is I have this tablet. And this tablet, it's just an iPad mini. I pull it up so that I can have all my items in order for custom SKU because the way I file my items, they're always in order. Pretty good thing to have. A lot of people just use their phone. I feel like it's a little harder to navigate on the phone than to have like a separate device. And then I can listen to YouTube or record YouTube videos with my phone while I'm picking items. I'll just go through a few of them just so you guys can get a taste of what we got going on. So we got the North Face, this is beige hiking shorts. It went for $11.96 plus shipping. So I charge $8.99 shipping on all items no matter if it's a tank top or a big jacket. $8.99 is the standard shipping. It just seems to be the easiest for me. and. Yeah, these North Face, they're uh, men's size 30, but they actually measure to a 29. So they're not like the most desirable size. They're not the coolest pair of shorts out there, but they're definitely uh, sellable for 20 bucks, which is exactly what I like to sell things for. I mean, honestly, I'd like to sell things for $100 or $1,000, but uh, $20 on clothes seems to be the bar that I set my business at, and most of my sales are at that mark. So with spending about four bucks, 
selling for is actually nine plus 12, so that's 21. I probably profited like six to seven dollars on this pair of shorts. And my goal is to sell about 10,000 items a year in this eBay store and then make money other ways doing content, the Amazon Influencer Program, and then eventually building up my buy sell trade store so that I can have like an actual retail footing in my town. And that'll probably take like a couple years, but it's definitely something that I'm striving for. Got them all pulled, did not take very long to do. I did put the clothes in the dryer, but I'm not gonna start another load just because one load of laundry during like the work day is plenty for me. I just figure like if you chop away at the mountain, eventually the laundry will be uh, close to finish. So I'm gonna pack these up. Let's get straight into it. And I'm pretty excited about packing these up and I'm gonna let you know why. So I packed these up in the uh, white poly bags, 10 by 13s. Now, these are coming to an end in my business. I was reached out by Gyro Pack. They're a company that I'm sponsored with and they are doing great things. And let me show you why. No longer do we have to pack in white poly bags. We can actually get some cool colors and let's just go through them. Late night editing, Sean here. I just wanted to mention Gyro Pack did give me a bunch of free poly bags. They are the sponsor of this video. So if you want to support, use the code Taylor10. Enjoy the ad. We've got the mint green, which is a really great color. These poly bags are actually a better price than what I was paying for those other ones. More of like a darker green. This is more of like a turquoise type color. Then we have one of my favorites. This is the royal blue color. I like the royal blue just because my logos are red, white, and blue, and these actually go super well with that. We've got a lighter blue color. We've also got another big popular one. This is gonna be the black one. I mean, guys, black, it just, I wear a lot of black shirts. Pack them up in black poly bags. It's a great look. We also have Daisy. Okay, Daisy isn't like the most manly of colors, but if the ladies are out there or you just really like uh, daisies, we got this too. And more bags with the ladies. We have the pink and we have the lavender. And these aren't even all the colors that they have, but Gyro Pack, if you use code Taylor10, you get 10% off. And like I said before, it's actually cheaper than the other bags that I was buying and I used to have linked. It's just really nice to use like a different color bag. After shipping over 20,000 items on eBay, this is the first time that I've actually had like different color bags and it's, it's really refreshing. Another thing that's refreshing is the little plastic piece that comes off is actually reinforced. So that means it's thicker and it doesn't stick to your fingers like the other ones. It just drops right out of your hand. And that is one of the sole reasons I decided to go with this product because I believe in it. And I think it's actually gonna make my workflow go a lot faster than before. Thank you, Gyro Pack, for these bags. I can't wait to ship these items out. Also, just look at the contrast of the label on the bag. I think it's great. I really do. I can't wait to get to some of the other colors, but right now we're just gonna rock with the Royal Blue. All right, guys, a little update. I've been shipping here for a minute, but a number of things came up. And I wanna just talk to you about the reality of being a full-time reseller at home, you kind of take on more responsibilities when it comes to household stuff. So for example, my wife had a chip in her windshield, which she got repaired. It turned into a long crack. So now her car windshield needs to be repaired. And I had to talk to uh, the dealership and it not only needs to be repaired in a location that's like an hour and a half away from my house, but it also has to get calibrated at the local dealership. So all in all, it's gonna cost like, I don't know, like 600 bucks to get all that done which is um, another thing on my calendar that I have to adjust my week for next week. So in addition to that, my door's open. In addition to that, I got a new credit card and the new credit card I got, I need to spend $15,000 in three months and it took two weeks to get the credit card. So I have two months and two days. I start doing shipping and I double check PayPal to make sure that it's pulling from that credit card and it wasn't. So then I had to troubleshoot that, which I decided to delete the old credit card I was using, but my bank account is still tied to PayPal. And then it was pulling from the bank account, even though my uh, Chase card was selected as the preferred card. I had to go into the actual like uh, PayPal like section where it says like eBay statement, like transactions and actually change it there as well. I think I'll still reach that threshold to get the thousand dollar bonus points, which if you guys aren't like churning credit cards or like doing at least one or two a year, I highly recommend that to make some money. Then I got an email from my uh, CPA. They sent me an Excel worksheet about 
uh, an easier way to do the calculations for payroll for my employee, Randy. She's only a part-time employee, but I was doing it by hand and it was taking a little bit of time. And now she sent me a beautiful spreadsheet. It's wonderful. So now I can start using that. So those three things all happened in the time that I'm shipping. I got everything packed up. I'm going to put in large USPS bag. You can get those from them. Just ask them, say, Hey, I ship a lot of items. They'll let you borrow those. They're really strong. I can get all these bags in there. I did just post to my Instagram story. And the reason I try to do the Instagram stories at least a minimum once a day is because short form content is here to stay. And I definitely want to get used to posting more because there's a lot of opportunities you guys can get with brands and just meeting people, connecting with people. You know, you can DM some other creators or people in your field. So I'm going to take all these clothes to the store. I also have to drop off some clothes from, uh, that I got from the big haul. She wanted me to donate the stuff that I didn't keep. So I got to do that and then I have to eat lunch and then we'll finally get into doing some photos and some like, uh, I, I call it like actual eBay work. It's more of the grunt work for eBay. Like the photos and listings is what you need to do to make the money. The shipping is just something you have to do after the sale has happened, which is the most important thing is that sale. But we can't do that if we don't take photos. So we're going to get on that. So we made it to the buy sell trade store and I got to get on photos. It really stinks when my employee Randy is like doing her other job and I, you know, don't have another employee to come in because I'm really not too thrilled to do photos. I got some other things I want to do, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to knock out 30 and then I'm going to post those 30 and then I'll probably continue on photos or maybe just goof off on the internet. I don't know yet. We'll see how it goes, but let's just get into it back at my house i hate to admit it but i left my phone at home that i do the photos with i was going to use this iphone 14 but for some reason whenever i do the uh photos to see them on the laptop it's not on another apple computer it's on a um thinkpad which is windows you know and it doesn't show up in order they're like all scrambled and stuff like my photo library so that's a huge problem and it is now like almost two o'clock. I think it's 15 till two. So I should be able to get down to my office by two, but this is kind of it. If, if you're going down the path of working your day and things aren't going right, you just have to pick up a couple wins. And I have not had very many today. So the only thing I can really think of now is just go to the office, do all the photos there, come back and list as many as I can, which will be at like 8 p.m. because my wife and my son, they get back to the house at 5 30. So I pretty much have two and a half hours. So I can either do the 30 listings at the store or just do all the photos and then I can pump out 30 tonight and then maybe do a couple more, like another set of 30 because tomorrow I am going on my long sourcing day. But um, it's a little annoying. This is what happens when you have an off site like photo setup and then still trying to hold the photo setup here at the house because uh, you'd like to have two of everything two phones two phones, two rulers, um, two sets of whatever, you know, your photo background, your, your boxes, your labels. The problem is, you know, all my numbered labels are at the store. So I think I just need to keep my, uh, iPhone that I use for photos at the store. So I won't run into this problem, but it's just, uh, you know, it's the reality of, of doing this by yourself and, and not having things like in order. So, um, the, the one thing I like to do to combat that though, is just to work harder. Like today, it's rough. I mean, I've shipped items. I've done a little bit of admin stuff and let's just call admin stuff like anything that's not like eBay related, but like, um, you know, other businesses or just little tasks that I have to take care of. And yeah, I'm going to have to, uh, step it up, you know, cause you can do one of two things. It's either you step up and get it done or you quit on yourself and you have a terrible day. But if you have a terrible day today, you might follow it up with a terrible night, a terrible morning tomorrow, and then and then your business collapse. So these are the most challenging times, I would say, as a full-time uh, entrepreneur or somebody who's just doing everything independently. You have to overcome adversity. You have to just pick yourself up and get some stuff done. And that's kind of what's kept me through and what's kept the business building. So just kind of take this moment to to think like, if things aren't going right, 
get yourself a win and, and get after it. All right, detour's over. I got the open sign up. I got the sidewalk sign. And I went ahead and just parked right in front instead of messing with the parking garage because I want to get going on photos. We're going to get after it. I'm going to see how long it takes. Typically, it's one to a minute and a half. It's usually one minute to a minute and a half per item. And we're going to try to hit like 30 to 60. I'll decide when I get to 30 whether or not I'm going to list those now or just wait until later. I've had two bathroom breaks, but I photoed 42 items in an hour and a half. Not great, but... Uh, yeah, it's um, it's going. So I'm gonna list those. It's 3:48. So I have, I don't know. I guess till 5, 5:30. My wife and Seth, my son, they get home about like 5:30 ish, I guess. So I kind of like to be there when they're there, but I also need to pump out these listings, and then I'll finally launch them for the day. So it's way late, but I can tell you this: if you launch a consistent number. It doesn't really matter what time you launch. It is better to do in the morning from my experience, but uh, it'll still do well enough as long as you get the fresh listings up is better than uh, just skipping another day of like not getting any listings. So always try to list some whenever you have them and I'm about to grind out these listings. Hopefully uh, it doesn't take too long, but there are a lot of newer items. So if you have new items that you wanna like look up uh, more exact pricing on the comps, that'll take like an extra few seconds. But a lot of times I just put them in price buckets. So. And what I mean by price buckets is if it's like a long sleeve button shirt, somewhat generic, you know, not like a, a hard hitter or like a cheap brand, then I'll just put it like $15.99 plus $8.99. That puts it about uh, $16 plus $9. It's like $24.98 actually. So that's where a lot of my items land. And then if it's a little bit less quality or if it has a stain, I drop it down by like $3. And then if it's something who I think, if it's something that I think is really good, then I'll bump it up to like $19.99, $24.99, $5 increments and go from there. But yeah. The key to this is to get the first few going and then have a formula as far as like clicking with the mouse and where the photos are and where your pages are on the tab so that you can kind of go quicker. And I need to like make maybe like an update video about how I do this, but once you get it down, these listings can take as little as like 20 seconds or as long as like a minute, just depending on what you're doing. All right guys, so I finished up photos and I actually had to cut off early just because of this. It's like a tiny little cut. My skin gets kind of dry sometimes and I don't have any band-aids here. So that's just another thing you gotta watch out for because this is pretty much a, sto a showstopper. Like if you bleed on an item, you're definitely gonna get a return and you're just kind of ruining your inventory. So uh, it's a little earlier than I wanted to get out of here. So I'm gonna go to Target and try to find like a mini desk, uh, desktop mm, holder for the phone, like a tripod. I got like another one on order, like a big one, because I like lost my big one. So that's why I've been doing everything by hand today. So we're gonna head out of here now and get on to Target. So Target did not go well, another strikeout. I had to go to Walmart because Target did not have any cheap uh, GoPro, or they didn't have any, Target didn't have any cheap mounts. I had to go to Walmart, so I did find this tripod. It's the On, O-N-N -N dot. They seem to be doing pretty well. This was 20 bucks, but I can wrap around the steering wheel, which I'm about to do right now and I can use it at my desk. But let's just set it up and see how it looks. Today was a very rough day for me. A lot of things did not go as planned. I only got 20 items listed. I have 30 more sets of photos that I can do, but I'm gonna do those afterwards. Whenever I come home around this time, 5.30 to 8, it's full on dad mode. So being a dad, being a husband, means all my problems have to stay at work with me. I don't wanna bring that on to my wife and kid because what if they had a hard time at work? Is it okay for them to come and see me have a hard time and then just the whole family has like a down mood and everything? That's not how it works. As the father, as the dad, as the husband, you have to step up. You gotta just kinda like put on a put on a show if you have to. I mean, I am an entertainer, but at the same time, I need to be able to lift them up. That's how I was raised and that's just how it goes. So right now we're gonna turn it on. I'm gonna grab my son, hold on to him, give him a big hug and kiss, talk to my wife, make sure she has a chance to decompress, let her do what she needs to do, then we'll trade off with the kid. I'll either help with dinner or I'll do some chores, whatever needs to happen. We'll all get fed, we'll all get cleaned, we'll be good to go, and then come eight o'clock, I'm gonna start doing those listings. So at 7.45, I'm in my office, and what I'm gonna do is knock out like 30 listings. It should take like 45 minutes or less, just depending on what kind of groove I get into, and then I need to pre-pack items for tomorrow. I was gonna go to Dallas, but instead I'm gonna go to Lawton, which is only an hour away, and then I'm gonna thrift my town because there's an event happening downtown at five and my wife needs me to watch my son right when he gets out of daycare and then she's actually working that event. So 
I'm gonna hang out downtown with Seth and it should be a lot of fun. I'm definitely gonna take some video of that, but I'll just give you guys a little taste of like my workflow whenever I'm doing these listings. So one of the methods I like to do whenever I'm listing items is I like to have a lot of the items that are kind of the same. So those were a bunch of Western long sleeve pearl snaps. So whenever I go prep my items and I'm folding them, I set aside pearl snaps long sleeve in one batch so that whenever you're doing photos, you're doing all of them in a row. I'm not too concerned with like flooding that one category of my store because I'm doing like 20 to 30 to 40 a day, typically 30 and up. But on days that like I have heavy workloads in other areas and just can't get up, 30 or 40 then I do about 20. So this allows me to sell similar off of the same item and then I just make a few adjustments. So that was like a striped pearl snap shirt and then a couple of them more plaid and then some more solid. So you kind of just like hit the same ones and then you also know what to deselect off of the same one because you've seen it two and three and four times in a row. All right, so I just finished up listings. It was about 25 listings in 35 minutes. So not terrible, could have gone a little faster, but that's just how it goes. So we have 13 items to pull, $307.81. Shouldn't be too bad. We'll just start right like this. The new tripod's working out all right, the little mini tripod. It's giving me like vintage Taylor Exchange, like pulling from the garage. You know how I used to do these videos? And I may bring that back. I think it's uh, I think it's something people wanna see, like what, what I'm selling and talking about. I'm not gonna really go over each one, but uh, some of the better ones I may go over. A lot of them are just, you know, small sales. First one's a polo though, Under Armour. I've noticed one of the bigger hacks of doing listings and photos is not listening to YouTube. Now I was listening to some podcast during my uh, photo session today, but as far as those listings, I didn't have any distractions. I did have an eBay message come up that I responded with and other than that, it was pretty straightforward. This is just a Nike uh, compression shirt. This is that brand, it's called Caton. Pair of shorts, I took a little cheaper offer on this one just because uh, it came in and I felt like taking it. Pair of shoes coming up. This is a pair of Hoka's and something kind of funny about these Hoka's right there. I left the price on the Hoka's just because uh, I couldn't really scrub it off and I'm not in the business of cleaning shoes. And these I didn't clean, so they sold for $36 plus $8.99. Uh, it just goes to show like maybe you could have cleaned in another $10, possibly $20 in these shoes, but I'm okay getting that offer and, and sending them out. This is that military uh, multicam pants. Now these went for $28.49 plus $8.99 shipping, so nine plus 28. That's $37.50 on these, and this is exactly what I'm looking for tomorrow when I go to Lawton. They have the Army base there, and you know, Shepherd Air Force Base is actually pretty close too. So there's a pretty good chance I'm gonna find some of these. Last time I found a lot of the uh, BDUs, those are the green, black, and brown old school uh, pants. These ones are actually still, I don't know if these exact ones are still being worn, but I list them as collectibles just because I don't wanna get taken down uh, on that listing. and. This is probably the most it's sold for in a long time. You used to be able to get like $39.99 plus shipping on these, but that was way back when. Now, not so much. This is one of the Hawaiian shirts from my most recent haul. This is Hawaiian Reserve Collection, sold for 20 bucks, actually $21. And those have been like trickling in and out. I've already made my 600 bucks back on like the bigger ticket items. And now I just have like 70 some odd shirts just ready to sell through and, and make profits on those. This was a lightweight Patagonia button shirt in black. This sold for $22 plus $8.99, so 31 bucks. This was actually returned this morning. They said they just didn't like it and decided to return it. I relisted it for hire just because I feel like it, Patagonia in like certain fabrics. I don't know, this one's not even linen or nothing, but it does have like a, almost like a rayon feel to it. Anyway, I listed it for $29.99. I accept an offer of 22 bucks and really happy to get this sale. This is back over to the older listings. We have a Duluth Trading Coat Polo. Okay, last one was actually a Lucky Brand Pearl Snap. Really cool color, sold for $21 ship. This is a prime example of how not a lot of things worked out for me, but the most important thing that did work out 
is believing in myself of what I'm used to doing and getting it done no matter how late, no matter how tired you are. You gotta get this stuff done if you wanna continue making the money. Now hopefully you guys like and enjoy this video. Remember, Gyro Pack, that's the guys who I'm going with. Hit Taylor10 on the coupon code to get 10% off. That'll help me out a little bit as far as like some income and maybe this video will make more than 20 bucks. Who knows? I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.